Hey you guys, what's up? It's Vicky J and I'm going to show you how I take off my beat. So this has kind of been a long time coming kind of video. I've talked about skincare, I've talked about, you know, I've done tutorials where I show you guys how I put on makeup, but I haven't shown you how I take it off. So this is exactly what I'm going to do today, y'all. This absolutely glorious beat. So I am loving on that color correcting palette. <laughs> yes! I'm going to take my makeup off. So I'm going to utilize the products that I've shown you guys in my skincare videos. And I'm going to try to do it sitting at my desk. First things first, cleansing cloths. We all use them. Makeup removing wipes, whatever you want to call them. What I like to do is three cloths. I use both sides of each cloth. The ones I'm using today and the lid ripped off, which is perfect, so I can just show you that, are the the Creme Shop Cucumber Cleansing Towelettes that are for uh, that have brightening agents in them. I haven't really noticed a difference, to be honest with you, um, in terms of brightening, but they are very gentle. They smell good. And um, by themselves, they get rid of a good amount of makeup. Now, no matter what the cleansing cloth is, even the micellar water ones, I, I like you know you can't get it all off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I like to do a process, a three-step process. And the first thing I do is use this cleansing oil. It's called the Palmer's Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil for the face. And I do a nice little, you know, generous squirt or two onto the cleansing cloth. This is going to melt away all the makeup. So we're just gonna you know, massage it off. We're gonna get, you see, look at that, already. You know, we're just gonna get pop. Look at all that makeup that came off. <laughs> I didn't even use the other side yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go down my neck with the other side because I take my makeup all the way down because as you can see I have some scarring on my neck so yeah we've got that one pretty soaked right so we can go ahead and put that to the side so I'm gonna take another cleansing cloth brand new cleansing cloth and this time I'm gonna use the micellar water that's also going to break up the oil that's still on my face from um, using the cleansing oil so I'm not squeezing the bottle I'm just letting it fall out and it's soaking the already moist towelette just want to get it nice and soak and then go over my face again and you will be amazed that although my face looks clean how much stuff comes off still the micellar does a really great job um, much as the oil does of breaking up the um, waterproof makeup you may have on and you know mascara is especially tricky to get off so you just want to you know make sure you get behind the ears and such when I do my makeup y'all boom when I do my makeup I want it to look like I'm not wearing any so I blend it in all the way back if I'm wearing something where I know like you know, I have a collar that's going to touch my neck or something. I won't do all this. But since I wasn't, I went for it. All right. So, boom. And I'm going to use the other side of it just um, to continue getting stuff off. I try to get all the crevices, you know. Still lipstick on there. Just saying. A little crooks and crannies all up in these corners here and go over your lids again because there's still mascara on there so this is soaked dropping that to the side and we're on the third and final uh, cleansing wipe I'm just getting whatever's left on my face off give it a good scrub because um, the abrasion on these towelettes in particular is pretty gentle I wouldn't do this with like um, the Equate towelettes or the, the Neutrogena ones that are pretty abrasive. I wouldn't scrub this hard with those. You don't need to. I just like to give my face a really good massage 
all the way up to the hairline and just keep moving the towel around to make sure that you're really getting in there. Yeah, you want to get as much makeup off as possible just to help out your, your facial cleanser and such. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. <laughs> you still have stuff on your face. <laughs> if your makeup is good, it's still on your face. That's why even when you're done, like doing the um, the cleansing cloths, you have to wash your face because you have to get it all off. So I'm gonna use the other side on my neck, especially just to make sure I got everything over my lips again. I also exfoliate your lips, and then under my eyes again to get all that mascara. Still got makeup on. So, alright. So, after three towelettes, I'd say we're pretty good to go as far as um, cleaning our face off. So, it's three towelettes, all clean. So, now I'm gonna use my Foreo Luna Mini and the Foreo Nighttime Cleanser. It has some exfoliating beads in it. And I have a towel for when I'm done. I'm going to spritz my face with some distilled water because I can't go to the sink. I don't have a portable camera, this is a webcam. So I'm just gonna spray my face and then I'm going to use the Foreo and the cleanser. So here we go. Okay, and as you can see, I got the remainder of the makeup off. You can see it right there. So now that the skin is completely clean and patted dry, we're gonna go ahead and start adding products for the nighttime treatments. I'm gonna be using the Chorus Pomegranate Toner to restore the pH balance in my skin. I'm just gonna be using this little cotton square. Jackie Ina said to pat not white. So that is what I'm gonna do. Cause her skin looks pretty good. So I'm gonna be using two serums tonight. It's a Shado, um, Imi Alt Alt Immune Power Infusing Concentrate, and the Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth, Ac Youth Activating Concentrate. I put this one on first, and then I put the other one on top. In the grand scheme of things, if I'm being like real, the Sashado one's more expensive by like a hundred dollars um, for the full size. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try out like the one ounce of each of them, decide if it's worth investing in the full size. Like I think the full size is almost two ounces. It's like over 1.5 ounces. Um, this stuff lasts a long time, so I think the one ounce will give me a good couple of months to make sure I love it. And then I'll buy those full size ones for like $78 for the Genifique, I think, and then $170 something for this one. Woo! I mean, if it works, it works. And if I got it, I'll spend it. <laughs> but you know, my word. Oh yeah, that feels good. Oh. So you let the wonderful serum <laughs> soak it through your face. <laughs> Take it down your neck. You got a little too much like I did. And then just let that soak in. And um I'm trying to decide which one to do. Okay, so from Chorus, I picked up this little sample that I'm gonna try tonight. And this is the Black Pine Active Firming Sleeping Oil. And uh, you use it in the evening, gently massaging a few drops into cleansed your cleansed face and neck. Avoid the eye area and it's supposed to firm your face. I mean, I don't think I need any firming. You guys feel like I'm sad? But um, I'll give it a try, see if I feel anything, you know? 
and they said a few drops so this sample should last for a little bit that was more than a few drops oh it smells so good oh my god oh it smells beautiful It's a very lightweight oil. I'm gonna go over top this with um, a thicker moisturizer. I'm not putting this on my lips or eyes, by the way. I'm navigating around those areas. So, so far we're glowing, right? Um, and my skin feels really smooth and um, plump. So now I'm going in with the Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. And this is meant to even out your skin tone. As you guys can see, I have um, a little bit of hyperpigmentation left over and I have acne scars, pretty prevalent. So I am just gonna take, go, about that much for my entire face, which is a, about the size of two peas. And that should cover my neck and my face. And this is from the Wild Rose line. The oil was from the Black Pine line. Um, I love the Wild Rose line already. I um, I use their exfoliant system, exfoliator system, or microdermabrasion rather. No, it's chemical peel. Yeah, Wild Rose Vitamin C peel. So I'm just patting this into the skin and just getting at the neck too. Okay. And now that we're done moisturizing the face, the last thing to do is under the eyes and that's going to be my Origins Jin Zing Brightening Eye Cream. Take about that much per eye. I don't even know if you guys can see that. That's all it takes. And I put it on the upper part of my eye as well and work it to the area where you get crow's feet. And now I'm ready for bed. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed my nighttime routine, removing makeup and treating my skin. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment in the comment section. Um, let me know what you use for your nighttime skincare routine. Let me know if you have tried any of these products, if you um, own the full size versions, how you manage your budget when it comes to your skincare, girl. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you would like to become a JBay, go ahead and click that subscriber button, y'all. I post three times a week. Um, all the information that you need for these products that I'm using in this video are in the description box below along with Ebates because you need to sign up, get your life, so you can get that cash back, you guys. Cash back on a ton of websites. So, that's going to do it for me and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.